Praying for the fallen, the bodies of the dead from Sunday's bomb attack on a church in Cairo are laid to rest as mourners gathered to pay their final farewells. The head of the Coptic Church told the congregation that the attack targeted the whole nation. It pains us very much that our loved ones have left us because of this incident. It also pains us to witness such evil, an evil that is void of humanity and the emotions given to humans by God. This evil has become a tool in the hands of villains who have hurt the people and the country. Those who are in pain are not just in mourning for our church, but are in mourning for the whole country. Shortly after the funeral, Egyptian leader Abdel Fattah al-Sisi paid his respects at a vigil together with government ministers and religious leaders. He said investigators found that a 22-year-old man had blown himself up and that three of his accomplices were now in custody. Sisi vowed to defeat what he called terrorism with an iron fist. The government and the parliament have to move quickly. The laws have to be changed. This is a matter of fact. The judiciary cannot decide decisively without new laws that deal with these problems. Terrorism has to be dealt with in a decisive way. But Sisi's popularity is falling and many blame him for the lack of security in Egypt. Pro-government talk show hosts were criticized by mourners who made it clear that they no longer believed what the government and its media outlets have to say. Crowds chanted anti-government slogans and demanded the resignation of the interior minister. Sunday's attack followed an explosion near the pyramids in a suburb of Cairo. Critics of the security services say they've been too busy arresting political activists and journalists, meanwhile allowing for armed groups to flourish. The last major attack on a church in Egypt was almost six years ago, when 120 people were killed at the Two Saints Church in Alexandria. The then Minister of Interior was believed to be behind the attack. Egyptians are used to scenes of violence. However, most attacks in recent years have been taking place in the Sinai, far from the major cities. The fear is Sunday's bombing shows the violence is getting closer to their homes. Jamal al-Shayyal, Al-Jazeera.